Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the uh, what the hell is this? Uh, this is the eleventh tutorial in this course, and in this tutorial we are going to talk about something called type conversion. Now, what is type conversion? I just had to Google it, you know, before recording this tutorial because I had no idea about it myself, and uh, you know now I do know a little bit about it, so I'm going to talk about it. And um, well, if you have an integer variable in your program, and if you try to assign to it a floating point value then that's a crazy thing to do right and likewise if you have a floating point variable in your program and if you try to assign to it an integer value that's also a crazy thing to do now what happens when you do such things you know obviously um you know you can do things um, like this for fun intentionally or you know just because you want to test see you know whether it's an efficient language or not so you know or maybe you actually want to solve uh, a problem or you know serve a purpose by doing such things so anyway you know the reason could be anything you just need to know what happens when you do such things so you know you can see that i've saved this save the file and um, you know the file is called type underscore conversion dot c on line one i have a header file on line two i have the main function i have my curly braces in place so we can type in some code what i'm going to do is i'm going to create two variables and one of them is going to be an integer the other one's going to be a float and uh, I'm going to call my integer a, I'm going to call my float b, let's keep the names uh, short and simple. And knowing that a is an integer and it's supposed to have integer values, I'm still going to give it a floating point value. And I'll give it, uh, uh, what value should I give it, 7.8 would be good. And uh, I'm going to give an integer value to b, knowing that b is a float, floating point variable and it can hold floating point values, I'm still going to give it an integer value. So instead of giving a value like 150.97654, I'm just going to give it a value of 150, right? And uh, let me display the values that actually get stored in the variables before talking uh, about what happens. That would make more sense, and you always do that. So I'm going to use printf, and uh, the first printf statement I'm going to use to display the value that gets stored in A. So A equals and uh, since I'm displaying an integer value, I'll use the percentage D format specifier, put a comma and then uh, type in A. And the next printf statement I'm going to use to display the value that gets stored in B. So let me put in the new line escape sequence there because we want this output in a fresh line. And uh, B equals percentage F because B is uh, of uh, flow data type, it belongs to flow data type and I'll type in B there, I'll put a semicolon to terminate this statement, I'll save the file and I'll click on build and run to see the output and you see that A equals 7 and not 7.8 and B equals 150 point a bunch of zeros and that's not what you typed in um, in your program, this is not the value that you assigned B. So what has happened here is that the integer has been promoted to a float and the float has been demoted to an integer and well to you know make things simple you try to assign a value of 7.8 to a but c figured that you know a is of the integer data type and 7.8 is a floating point value so it started wondering okay what's wrong with you you know why are you doing this to me and uh, you know there's a container that can hold integer values and you're trying to put in it a floating point value and C obviously is smart enough to know that that's not right. So what it has done is it has uh, you know just stored the value seven in it, and it has ignored the point eight part. You know, thinking that okay maybe something's wrong with you, and you need to get yourself tested. And meanwhile, you know, I'll just uh, store the value seven in the container. And you know when it came to this operation, now B is a floating point variable, and you're trying to store in it an integer value. But since B is capable of holding more stuff. C figured that, okay, again, you know, there's something wrong with you and you're just messing with me. And, uh, you know, I'll uh, do a smart job of storing 150, you know, with a decimal point and a bunch of zeros after that in the variable B. So the uh, floating point value 7.8 has been demoted to the integer value 7 and the integer value 150 has been promoted to the floating point value 150.0000000 so six zeros I see here and uh, well this is what type conversion is now this is implicit type conversion like this is something that C has done automatically without asking you now, you can also force type conversion and that is called explicit type conversion and 
we're going to talk about explicit type conversion you know maybe later on in this course but in this tutorial i just wanted to give you guys a, a glimpse of what c does in the background if you you know do such crazy things and uh or maybe this is not too crazy you know uh it's just me uh anyway thank you so much for watching this tutorial and um i'm gonna see you guys in the next one in which we'll discuss another feature of the c language so thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing to my channel